federal medical marijuana company filed a lawsuit against the Alabama Medical Cannabis Commission, citing problems with the awarding licenses. The commission spent months taking applications and looking at those to lead the new industry for the state. Now, that awards process is on hold after the commission said there were inconsistencies. Political reporter Aaron Davis was in the courtroom today. During the hearing, she has more details on the lawsuit and the outcome. A new company, Alabama Always, builds a four and a half million dollar facility to grow and process cannabis. And I'd, I'd put it up against any facility in the state. The company was denied a license and now alleges in a lawsuit there were multiple problems with the Alabama Medical Cannabis Commission's application process. One being the grading that was completed by an anonymous third party hired by the University of South Alabama and now the commission. They got 352 out of 600 on financial ability. Uh, they've secured a $2 million bond as is required by the statute. Will Somerville represents Alabama Always. Their complaint reads, quote, it is the duty of the commission members, not some team of anonymous graders, to review and assess the applicants for cannabis license. We think that one thing that's really hurt this process is the secrecy. Montgomery Circuit Judge James Anderson ordered a pause on the awarding of medical cannabis business license on top of the already existing self-imposed pause from the commission. When asked about the judge's ruling, the commission sent a statement that reads in part, quote, this order is consistent with the stay issued by the Alabama Medical Cannabis Commission on June 16th, 2023. Well, based on what the judge said today, we had asked for discovery. Uh, the judge thought that was premature. The pause will end when the commission finishes its review of the application process. The plaintiffs hope after which the court will require, quote, the commission to not engage in substantive discussions regarding the award of licenses during executive session, end quote, and allow for a more transparent process. They, they're not going to ask the judge to award them, an app, app, award them a license. They just want the process to work along the way it's supposed to. Aaron Davis, WSFA 12 News, Montgomery. Medical cannabis products were expected to be ready late this year or early 2024. This litigation could delay that availability.